George? The American people are on our side. The American people don't believe in these austere things. We believe that the rich should contribute. We believe we should fill those tax loopholes. Get rid of them, I should say. And that's where we need to go. But that's a debate that's been had, as you know, for the last several months, the last couple of years. It doesn't see, appear that that's going to get solved Why? in the next month. So the sequester is going to hit. George, that's what they said two days, three days a week away from the fiscal cliff. No revenue. Well, we got about $700 billion in revenue. There's still more that we can do. Sorry. Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. That was Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid trying to sell the idea of taking more money out of your pocket to give it to, yes, the government, to spend it. So what are the politics behind this gambit? Editorial page editor Paul Gigo is here to discuss. Welcome, Paul. Hey, Mary. Um, Paul, was this always the plan to get Republicans to agree to tax hikes on the rich and then get them to agree to even more tax hikes? Well, it hasn't al always been the plan, but it is the plan of late. Uh, and uh, Democrats are clearly made that, uh, that part of their strategy here. They pocketed the first big tax increase. Well, not the first, but the latest okay, big, yes. very big tax increase that hit January 1. Increase in rates, capital gains, dividends, two percentage points in the payroll tax on almost every worker. Estate tax. Estate tax, and of course the Obamacare taxes that are, had already been in law but now hit January 1. Uh, and now their view is, well, uh, pocket that, let's get more. And they're using that as leverage against Republicans who want to reduce spending. Now, uh, when I hear this kind of rhetoric, I always wonder, it, would raising taxes on these people that Harry Reid wants to raise taxes on really do anything to plug the deficit hole that the uh, White House is facing? Pretty small beer. I mean, the things he's talking about. I mean, look, the, the, their campaign is very pull-tested in the sense that they're couching this in terms of getting rid of tax loopholes, which I favor. Sure. Except I favor doing it in term, uh, uh, because as part of a larger tax reform that would reduce rates. They want to raise rates, as they already have, and now eliminate loopholes. So they get a double whammy. But they're focusing on things like oil and gas uh, tax benefits, which really go to all manufacturing companies, not just oil and gas. Uh, they're, they're talking about uh, uh, other things like jet fuel, or jet, you know, uh, corporate jet subsidies, which are debatable as corporate subsidies. I'd get rid of all of them, but then I want to take rates down. They don't want to take rates down. So let's talk about the politics of the sequester. There are some <laughs> Republicans who uh, want to uh, reduce the impact of the sequester on places like the Pentagon. No question. How do you see uh, this debate playing out if this is the tack that Harry Reid is going to take? Well, I don't see Republicans giving on taxes anymore. I think they gave it the office <laughs> by, by going along with the other tax increase. I don't think they're going to do that. They know that the politics of that for them would probably be suicidal really alienate their their supporters take them away from a pro-growth message job creation message so I think you're gonna what happens is we're gonna move on these uh, on these uh, the sequester March 1st it hits domestic accounts not including entitlements and defense accounts and we'll see who can take the pain <laughs> because Republicans won't like defense cuts Democratic constituencies won't like the domestic cuts so we'll see uh, how this plays out. And of course, the White House will try to portray both as horrendous, awful, ruinous to put pressure on the Republicans to give on revenue. I don't think they will. So this is actually a good thing in your view. It's actually finally getting some serious cuts out of capital. Good, 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 good in two cents. I don't like the way the cuts are going to hit on defense, okay? But at least it shows that the, Repu that the Congress can cut some spending. <laughs> somehow okay we haven't been able to show that so it shows that second economically I think to the extent that you reduce the claims of future taxes through lower spending you actually are improve the chances that the economy grows faster but in the meantime Harry Reid wants more tax and the president and said it too again on Sunday so I think we're headed for a showdown okay headed for a showdown editorial page editor Paul Gigo thank you